In today's video, we're going to look at two different options to do hands inside Cartoon Animator 4 with hand sprites and also with rigged hands. And I will give you my opinion which one is best or which one you should use. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. This channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome. You are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. And if you are new to animation or you want to start and you have no idea where to begin, um, you've never animated before, well, I've got some great news. I've got a free online video training. It is absolutely free. So in the description box below, there's a link. Click there, sign up, and you can take that uh, free training. It will teach you the basics. You, uh, you'll work alongside with me, and by the end of the video, you would have created your very own animation, and you'll have the enough knowledge to continue your journey and to start creating your own animations. So if you're interested, in the description box below, there's a link. Go and sign up. And just one final thing quickly. Um, I am busy creating my very own 3D animated film and um, so I created a Patreon account and you can um, support me in making this film. Um, there's two different options. You can just sign up, become a member and um, as part of this community um, I will take you behind the scenes and show you how I make this film and hopefully teach you so that you can do the same and also inspire you to see but you can actually create your own um, animated film or short film or animation series um, all by yourself um, so if you're interested um, in the description box below there's a link click there sign up um, I release um, uh, regular videos and in the future I will also do live streaming with all the members so feel free to sign up that way you'll support me in making this form but in return I will help you guys and teach you guys and show you guys how to do it yourself um, so feel free to support me in that way now today we're going to look at um, two different ways that you can do hands inside cartoon animator 5 um, or cartoon animator 4 um, so basically you've got your hand sprites um, so sprite is basically um, pre-drawn um, hand positions so fist open hand pointing um, p sign uh, sharp or okay all of the different you pre-draw all the different sign um, hand gestures and then you just uh, change the sprite on the timeline um, and that's how you use that that's the first option the second one is you can actually add a um, bone structure to your hand you can rig your hand with all the fingers and then you can animate your hand uh, with the fingers moving um, so both of them have pros and cons so i'm gonna go through them quickly so let's quickly go um, here i've got two characters this is one of my own characters and this is just a dummy character with the hand um, um, that is fully rigged uh, ready to be animated um, so at the moment I'm only using um, hand sprites um, for my animations that's how I've been doing it all along and recently someone asked me to create um, characters for them and they wanted the hands to be able to move so I had to do it and it was my first time that I've actually um, created a character with a fully rigged hand um, so I've never done it before so I've never animated bef with it as well so um, maybe some of the things that I'm gonna mention maybe there is workarounds um, those of you who've animated with uh, fully rigged hands before uh, let me know in the comments below if I make any mistakes uh, like I say I've only animated with hand sprites I haven't animated with um, a rigged hand before okay so uh, let's go quickly to the character with the hand sprite so if you don't know exactly what a sprite is let me show you here's my character I can just click there and then it will open up here so then I can select right hand 
and here are all the different hand sprites that I have done so if I click there it changes so it is not the hand is not moving from the one position to the next it is like a jumping motion okay and that is probably the downside of hand sprite so let me quickly show you okay so if I click there and then I go on the timeline and let's say on frame 30 I want to change the hand sprite to a thumbs up like that so if I press play it's like a jumping motion it's on that timeline the hand sprite changes to something new so it is like a jumping motion it is not your hand gestures moving from the one to the next okay so that is probably the downside of hand sprites um, now if we go to for example this character whose hands are fully rigged let's do something different or similar okay so let's click now you if i click on hand sprites you will see there's no you've got that but there's no different gestures okay so that is the first thing so it doesn't work with sprites now you animate it so if i click there then it comes here with different hand signals okay so let's select the right hand because that is the one i want to change and we select there and then let's say on the timeline i select that again but now i want it to move to something different so let's go to sign and we click on the thumbs up okay so now if i press play you'll see the hand basically moves into the next um into the next hand gesture so you can understand it's a lot smoother okay so um so those are the two options and basically the differences between the two the one is pre-drawn hand gestures and the other one is rigged with each finger can move individually etc okay so what are my opinion okay at the moment i'm using hand sprites the main reason for that is um, a lot of the TV shows that I'm working on for my streaming platform, the characters were created before this um, function of rigging hands were available. So I don't want to change that halfway through a season. Okay, so I would much rather if I start a new season or a new TV show, I will then make sure if I create new characters the hands are rigged so I don't want to change over halfway through a season so I haven't started with a new series before or, or yet so at the moment I am just working um, with hand sprites so I haven't animated with um, with a bones um, fully rigged hand before okay so um, when I created the characters for my client um, and I created the hands okay so and I rigged it there's a few things that I've noticed okay first of all um, it is so much easier because all artists will know or knows that to draw hands are extremely difficult hands are probably one of the most difficult body parts to draw okay so if you can just draw a basic hand with all the fingers and you rig it then you can do all the different hand gestures um, that you want and it will look pretty awesome so it really helps you to get better hand gestures and um, because my hand drawing or my drawings with hands i really struggle with it it doesn't look good i always have to go and look for references on the internet um, that I can use as reference to draw hands because I really struggle so that is one plus side it will really make your job easier to create good looking hands okay so that is a, the upside that I've noticed with the um, rigged hands the downside that I've picked up and maybe you, you guys can leave me a comment if, if you have a solution for this is for instance if I'm going to 
go here to this character okay and I created a hand gesture where he is holding this pen okay so with the, the rigged um, hands I don't know how you're gonna get a, a prop the pen prop inside the hands inside all the fingers wrapping around it I don't know how you're gonna do it um, are you just gonna link the pen behind the hand which won't look nice or in front of the hand which also won't look right um, so that is one thing maybe there is a way I haven't like I said I haven't animated with a rigged hand before um, so can you can the hand hold something can you like take a tennis ball and wrap your fingers around it is that possible um, so that's something I don't know where with the um, with the sprite hands you can draw um, basically the like I've done here you can draw the hand while he's holding the pen um, so that is one thing I'm not sure I don't want to say you can't do it and um, like I say, I haven't animated with um, rigged hands before so maybe there is a way you can do it um, but that is one thing that I've noticed that you will really struggle with another thing that I've picked up is for example if I use this hands um, you know it definitely it has a cartoon look and feel to it um, I've also added some shadows and textures etc to make the hands look pretty awesome I don't think you'll get a cartoon looking um, hand with textures and shadows and everything um, you can do it but when you start moving your hand or your fingers I don't know it will look that good um, because all of the shadows time of all of a sudden the shadows and the highlights are falling at the wrong places um, so will you be able to have very cartoon looking hands I don't know maybe probably you can if you really put in some hard work because you need to make sure that each sprite inside your rigged hands on finger everything matches and it looks great but the other problem that I also foresee is for example this thumb of my character it really has a unique shape at the front now what this does is um, you can actually turn the shape of the hands let's quickly do that okay uh, let's click on the hand right hand so you can re actually change the angle of the hand now this is the back of the hand okay um, this is more the side of the hand um, so the problem you're gonna have is that thumb um, when your hand changes angles that thumb um, sprite of yours won't change it won't change so the thumb won't look natural because it doesn't change the angle of that um, image so you have to draw all your fingers um, pretty much static um, let me zoom in and let me show you for example your fingers will have to be straight you can't add character to your fingers because if you're gonna start um, changing the angles etc it's not gonna look right so you're gonna lose some character for example if you look at this hand and if you look at this hand um, you can see there's a lot more there's some highlights there's shadows there's some character to this hand um, so that is something you also need to um, think about so that is the difference between hand sprites and also the fully rigged hand so in my opinion um, I am definitely gonna play around with the rigged hands and see what I can do to make it look awesome because there's definitely a lot of potential it will save me the possibilities like for example 
are endless. If I click on this character again and I select the hand sprites, as you can see, currently I have eight different hand sprites. But with a rigged hand, the possibilities are endless. I don't have to draw new hands every time I need a new one. Um, it is there, so it saves up a lot of time in the future. There's a lot more possibilities. There's movement in your hand. So it is definitely something that I'm going to look at and see. Um, can I make good looking, cartoon looking hands like this with a fully rigged um, hand? Um, if not, then I will probably stick with my um, hand sprites. Um, because I just feel it adds a lot of character. There's no use you have a very cartoon looking character that you're very happy with. But the hands, it looks so boring. So um, it is. I think it is something that you'll have to think for yourself. And measure up the pros and cons for yourself for your project. At the moment, I have a nice way of animating where you don't see that hand um, sprite changing so you don't see that jump um, so at the moment I don't have any problems with the hand sprites um, but I think like I say the possibilities with a rigged hand is endless so you can do so much more it will save you time in the future there's just a few things that I'll have to check out and play around with and see is there ways to work around it uh, for example if you hold something in your hand a pen or a tennis ball or whatever can you do it um, and when you really add character to the hand how it will operate when your hand starts to sh change the angles so those are a few things I'll need to play around with before I can say I will switch over 100% to the fully rigged hand system. So that is my opinion. Let me know in the comments below which one do you prefer. Do you use the hand sprites or do you use the fully rigged hands? And after today's video, what are your thoughts? Which one do you think is the best? Um, do you prefer the sprites like I do at the moment? Or do you prefer the hand, um, the fully rigged hand? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you. So that is it for today. I'll see you guys next week with another video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on that notification bell so that you can get notified next, next week when I upload a brand new video. So from me, Eon, I'll see you guys next week. God bless and happy animating.